Hello everybody, this is Potter Brony. Welcome to another blind reaction of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series. Uh, this time we have episode number 75, Valley of the Duels. Uh, as always, link in the description below. Be sure to support the original. And let's just get started and see what uh, little Karibo has in store for us this time. And starting the video in 3, 2, 1, go. Previously on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Yugi, stay with me. Pharaoh, there's something you should know. I have a Super Ghost Rare Limited Edition Wadapun card. I kept it nice. secret, but since we might never see each other again, I can tell you it's hidden underneath. It means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Son of a bitch! No, I'll never see that card! since Yugi disappeared. Yes, it's a good thing we brought him here so that he could move beyond his pain. I'm still in so much pain. Now he no longer needs to dwell on the memory of his partner. I can't stop thinking about Yugi. His mind will be bereft of distraction and instead be completely focused on the task of saving the world. Will sure. somebody please fetch me some ice cream? Are you sure you're a licensed spiritual therapist? I'm old could and I hold a stick. Yeah. That automatically makes me the wisest person in the valley. There's only like four people here. And Excellent only logic. one of them is old and holding a stick. Guess who it is? It's me. Oh, great, what I have saying? I beseech thee, man. Allow me to win the judgment upon the land. As wow me, cast your will upon the... Cast your will upon the... God damn it. Cast your will upon the... God dang it, man! Hang on! It's probably why I am with news of the foul wall. The foul wall. Uh, the Egyptian king. Oh, it never fails. <laughs> that works to bring an elder girl from the dog to mansion and the phone starts wigging. I better put my business suit on using all necessary magical powers. Oh, well, well how about that? The pants are on this time. Oh, right, where you at, Waif? I have eyes on the target. Good. The foul wall is twelved. Whack away it. Twelve like a what? <laughs> exactly, Waif, I will. Be forewarned, the foul is inhabited by evil apparitions. Not that I'd expect your mini school brain to comprehend it. Uh, dude, I've been using dark magic to take people's souls this whole time. Why do you suddenly think I wouldn't understand what a ghost is? Oh, enough with the jabber jabber. It's time <laughs> for you to throw your ore cock on your two sex machine into the valley so we may summon an evil apparition Do to fight with spooky cinema? powers on our behalf. Not that you would understand anything of what I just said though because you don't. Could you please stop blatantly I... insulting my intelligence? I honestly don't understand the damn thing he's saying. <laughs> don't walk, dummy. <laughs> Ancient powers of the Orakakamalos. Awaken and bring forth the soul of one who is following when we show destructive power and do 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 No, not the lightning! That's how my hair got stuck this way. It's an earthquake! I'm afraid it's worse than oh, so that's how it worse happened. than one of the most devastating natural disasters known to man! Way worse, you see. Leorikalkos is bringing an ancient soldier back from the dead. Earthquakes have leveled entire cities. Yeah, but this guy is, like, really scary. New Zealand is in a constant state of repair because of earthquakes. Yes, but check out his freaky-deaky-looking armor. He's so much worse than earthquakes. By the holy tank top of Tutankhamun. Better trust the wise man with the stick. anything I've ever faced. It could tear me to pieces. It could slice me in two. It could challenge Play me to a monsters. children's card game. Of course it would. Behold, <laughs> Farrow. My creature can summon monsters from the very world you stand on. Me. The joke's on you because everyone knows you can't attack me on the first turn. Ah! Whoa, okay, hold up, big boy. That's a blatant violation of the dual monsters' rules. I'm calling for a timeout. Judges? Judges? Okay, where are the judges? Okay, so you want to do this season one style, eh? Fine. I summon. I'd like to see Cell come in and uh, explain the rules to him. I will destroy your Gigas. Yeah. How do you like them pomegranates? 
All right, this player's getting very aggressive with me. Judges, I move that this duelist be ejected and I be declared the winner. Judges? <sighs> You know, yeah, that sounds fair. You won this duel by disqualification about five times already. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> ah, good, yes. It's time for that part of the duel where we share witty banter. I'm good at that bit. Hey, Orichalco soldier, you're probably adopted. <laughs> Well, okay, he's really good at it too. I can't really work with that. Maybe say something about internet memes. Grumpy Cat, there, I just gave you a freebie. It's no use. Every time the Pharaoh destroys that monster, it comes back even stronger than before. You know, you'd think that watching someone fight the exact same monster over and over again would be really, really boring. And you'd be right. I summon the obnoxious Celtic punching bag. I'm so... <laughs> See now, you just attacked a monster in the middle of my main phase one. What part of boring turn-based card game mechanics don't you understand? Another attack and the pharaoh is done for. There's only one thing that can save him now. You mean the card that the pharaoh gave you exactly one episode ago? And if he just kept it for about an hour, he wouldn't be in any danger? Yes, the Eye of Timaeus. I must get this card to the pharaoh. It's a good thing <laughs> I played all that Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand how playing Assassin's Creed makes him good at parkour. It's just a video game. He can't do this alone. I have to help him. It's a good thing I played all that Banjo-Kazooie. That makes even worse sense. <laughs> Pharaoh, I'm coming. And I've only had about five heart attacks on the way over. Oh, good. Here come the judges. You have disrupted my planes for the waste time, old man. Hey, now you will suffer dwarf wine. Wet wabooo. Wet <sighs> Wet, w wow, yow, yow. Wet to a ah, 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 come on, oh, come on. What a pole! Okay, so I'm just doing this. By the butt cleavage of Osiris! Yeah, I can do that. Game changer. Interesting dying, saying. I'm still going to make one last trade. I'm coming, Ironheart. <laughs> Damn it, I can't move. I knew Link summoning would ruin this game. Grandpa! It's too late for me, Chris. Take this and bring it to the Pharaoh. Otherwise, all hope is lost. Goodbye. Bubbles, 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 no, bubbles, Grandpa! Bubbles. I have to keep moving. It's a good thing I played all that The Walking Dead. Why? Don't worry, Chris. There's no way four kids would let a small child get struck by lightning on screen. Ah! Well, oh. well, that just seems wildly inconsistent. Pharaoh, take this. It's the only thing that can stop him. I trust you, Pharaoh. Thank you. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. No, Chris, come back. I can't believe they're dead. And after I'd gotten to know them so well in the two and a half conversations I'd had with them. All yeah. right, there's only one thing left to do. Forgive me, Tamias. I may have abused my trading cards in the past, but now I fight for all my friends. Friends like Sky the Dog and Grandpa, who I have never interacted with. And also, <laughs> hilariously, a Karibo for some reason. Now I fuse Tamias with a Dark Magician Girl in order to summon Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. Behold, her totally impractical armor design because you just gotta see them thighs, man. Magicians aren't knights. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. No, and a bit of Tamias, too. destroy his creature of darkness. This is for Ironheart and Chris, two of the finest people I have ever known that I will forget all about when this season is over. May their memory live on for at least another 12 episodes or so. Hey, look, Tristan. Yeah, you were no right. more than that. In another few hours, the sun did rise. What does the sun rising have to do with our situation? Well, nothing. I was just referencing when you said it in season one. That doesn't sound like something I'd say. Well, yeah, but you did, so. Yeah, Are you remember. sure it wasn't Kaiba? Okay, let's just go over there. I don't even think that's the sun. The Pharaoh is weakened. <laughs> now would be the perfect time to capture him or I could just disappear for 10 episodes and leave the guy I went out of my way to find yeah, yeah I was gonna that do sounds that. about right wow 
I guess Ironheart, Chris, and Sky were spirits who had lingered for more than 10,000 years and once fought a massive battle in this very spot against the evil forces of the Orichalcos. It sure is lucky this carving is here to explain everything for us. Does it say anything about why they all turned into bubbles when they died? I guess it's because they were ghosts or something? Well, Taya, it's a good thing we well, played all that Luigi's yeah. Mansion. I never played that. Neither did I. <laughs> it's from Luigi's Mansion. All right, so that was Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged episode number 75, The Valley of Duels. Uh, yeah, that was convenient. The fact that they were ghosts already, so... No, uh, no big deal that they're gone now, right? Uh, anyway. So, yeah, I've, I've got nothing. It's like, as always, a lot of the stuff just goes over my head. It's, it's funny. I can get the basic, like the basic stuff out of it, but, uh, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I want to thank you all for watching, but I'm going to end this one here. Until next time. Take care.